Welcome, welcome, welcome to Skegness, where today we are here at Fantasy Island for our first ever time investigating. There's plenty of roller coasters to get on, lots of different flat rides, as well as a huge indoor pyramid and various market stalls as well. So hit like, hit subscribe and join us as we investigate. Millennium there. What's the? What no. do you think? Force, right. Forceless but very smooth. Yeah, I thought that. And we were, you were second row. Yeah. I was first row again. Smooth but no forces. Josh, why didn't you like that? I, I didn't I not like it. Uh, the harsh stop at the end hurt my back. My knees oh, are yeah. getting buckled. Yeah, the brakes the were very car. harsh. And the wind was in my eyes, so I can't see because I'm blind yeah, anyway. So. <laughs> I am pleasantly surprised by that, yeah. especially for the coma as well. In the all staff were really friendly, yeah. cheering us on. They were being very rude. Were they? To oh, me and yeah. someone, but we won't go into that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a. Uh, we need to be a family-friendly vlog. So that's not true. That. <laughs> we are we are in Skegness, but overall, I'm having a I'm having a fun little time. It's alright, yeah. So let's go find something else. And I was like, oh, well, both, but I was meaning to go on. And then it took him ages till I got on, and I was the last of us all up. And then he was like, I don't know, actually, I've not been on any for a while. And then his favourite to operate is that, because he sets people off to get wet. Yeah, he's when he went, bye! <laughs> it was surprisingly wet, wasn't it? Very. Very. But it was themed as well, which I like. There's, yeah. like, projection mapping on the rocks outside. I thought this was more amusement, Flash, and it is an amusement park, but there's a bit of theme in, and I appreciate that. On ride photo. Yeah. Yeah, on ride photo. Didn't get mine, it had already gone, but um, yeah, that was surprisingly fun, and we're surprisingly wet. Sammy's okay, you are. Alright, drenched. Alright, you're drenched. I can't just squeeze the water out it's of It's us hench lads, innit? Us hench yeah, lads absolutely. are. Uh, I went further. A bit wet on that. I went further. Yeah. I'd have carried on if the pump weren't there, honestly, I tell you. <laughs> you would have gone back home, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you came flying down. Oh, flying. That was great, I, I love that. I just left flat and I was like, wee! Story of how Fantasy Island came to be. And of a brave young explorer much like yourselves. This story takes place many moons ago when the young boy came across the Sleeping Mountains. And with the help of a very old book and a few magic words, woke him from his deep slumber. Who has awoken me from my deep sleep? Uh, it was me. I came to see the magic of Fantasy Island. The magic has been gone for a very long time. Pieces of the island's magical amulet have been scattered across the wilds. But let's see if you have what it takes to reunite them. Only the world we shall succeed. The Guardian, which is basically a four-person uh, flying cinema, which in itself is odd. So it's just kind of the arm, really. Um, and essentially, the resolution of the projector was so, so, so low. There's people you can't make out the faces. I didn't know he was talking. The movements didn't really match with what was going on either, did they? Like, if there's one bit near the end where you're just still. And then the screen moves to the side, and then to the other side, and the arm does not move at all. Still, I thought it was alright, because my expectations were very, very low, because Detective Whitmore said this is awful. And it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But agreed, it was pretty terrible. It, was it could Skyrim be better. Windows 94. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Windows 94 Skyrim with a very low resolution projector was pretty much what we were doing there. It's confusing, it's at such a low throughput <laughs> with only four seats. Yeah. But then to top it off, it's such a long pre-show and the main 
macho. Yeah, and Dude, when the throughput is so much. And when and when the video ended, because you guys had a bit of a delay, so it ended and it just went back to the like menu selection screen and I went to the guy, should we watch it again? He went, you can if you want. I was like, no, maybe not. And he said, I know all the words, I've seen it a million times. I'm like, go on then. And he didn't, bless him. Uh yeah. And there's a bit of a bit of theming as well around the queue line and stuff, which is nice. It wasn't great, but I appreciate the effort. A for effort, F for execution. <laughs> yeah, how are you finding your Monster Energy Original Flavor Slush, Josh? My family friendly answer is, is wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> it's just wrong. You should have gone for the prime one. At least then you would have known that it was going to be crap. It's Monster. I love Monster, but it's the wrong colour. It's got a shocking aftertaste and. Yeah. yeah, I thought the original colour would have been different than that. There's some big clumps in it as well. <laughs> Honestly, every time. I don't think it's that bad, but you, you really don't agree with it. No, no not the clumps, no. <laughs> the clumps! Apparently, Odyssey costs more than Hyperion. It's the, the most expensive UK coaster ever built. Which is funny because it's we came here worst. because Hyperion still isn't open. And it's funny because Odyssey also isn't open today. Mm. So we're not having the best of luck, are we, unfortunately? But nope. what are your thoughts so far on Adventure? Sorry, Fantasy Island. <laughs> yeah, we're getting mixed oh, up with all the islands that aren't actually islands. Yeah. It's all right. It does feel similar to sort of like Blackpool Seaside. Um, the pyramid's cool. It's, it's themed inside the pyramid. Yeah. And also what I forgot to add before was that you were... Uh, Missed the whole projection mapping show onto the mountain. Yeah, that's quite good. I'm, I'm impressed cool. with that. Yeah. yeah, it's a shame they couldn't put that projector investment in the ride that <laughs> needed it. Yeah. <laughs> Slow operations, but otherwise, Rumbus Rocket was a fun little two lap special, wasn't it? Oggy, Oggy, Oggy. Yeah, the ride up was really good, trying to get everyone like really amped up for it. It's not a Mac Rides uh, power coaster. It's a WGH transport, I think it said. Which is interesting, because I've never heard of that before, so... No. But it was good. Had yeah. more force than the, uh, the uh, Millennium, which we did earlier. Were better. Yeah, I think he sped up a lot. Didn't yeah. It seemed like he sped up a lot, but um, yeah, good fun. Very yeah, good fun. Got squished on one bank in, then yeah. squished the other on the other bank It's in. nice that it goes right over the pathways as well. Yeah. And just kind of like many amusement parks, the fact that it's all tied together and interlocked and stuff. I do really like that. Yeah. Dan's being silly right there. You, you can just shout things at people as you go around, it's great. No, we don't do that. This thing behind me was a very fun spinning thing called Magic. And I've said before in the Drayton Manor vlog, if you've not seen it, that spinning side to side doesn't sit well with me, but I'll do anything, so I did it. And I am somewhat uh, a little woozy now, a little queasy, but thankfully I'm not eating yet. However, I think we're going on a sizzler next, and they've already left. Hence why I'm on my own, so let's go over there. <laughs> Josh is here, though, to be fair, but he didn't ride it. <laughs> so on Twister, we've got not one lap, well, cycle, not one lap, not two, but three full cycles on it. And as I've said, that side twisty nonsense, not for me. Did I do it? Yeah. Do I feel sick? Yeah. Did I fall off as we got out the seats? Yes. But just because I'm being a silly bugger. How did you all find it? Because we all did it. Fine. Yeah. You don't feel anything, which no, is weird. No, we, did... we enjoy the cushy. Yeah. Uh... I'm just going around. Oh, we I enjoy can't. the cushions that we, uh, yeah, fall, we into fall into every rotation. Oh, because you're not on the. Yeah, because if you're the I'm larger the of the two, floor. you have to sit on the outside. So I was getting crushed on my side, on my other side, on my knees. So it was basically like my head, shoulders, knees, and toes were getting wrecked on that. Do you get it? Sweet. It's that thing. I did the song. What? Oh, it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> can you give me a review of the shot tower? In a haiku. This way. Oh, bad at haiku. Oh, yeah. So five syllables, then seven, then five. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to opt out. Right, that was fun. I don't know if that was a haiku, but... So I'm going to opt out, then you need a seven syllable. Volcano was really cool. Cool, yeah. And then you need five more syllables. Very nice and fast. Do you think? No, think it, wasn't it wasn't. Fast. No, it wasn't that I was good. concentrating more on the high key, but yeah, no, I don't know. It took ages to set off. And the cameras knew because they all set off a, a good like 30 seconds before um, the tower went up. Well, yeah, no, they like took photos before we went and then after we went. And also when we were trying to, um, when we were, oh, hello. Get off his stand. 
And when we were, when uh, Detective Whitmore Help was, me stand. when Detective Whitmore was trying to scan her wristband, the guy just grabbed her arm and held it. Oh yeah, they were very aggressive. Which is a bit weird, wasn't it? Very hands-on. Yeah, like shouldn't be doing that. It a bit odd. He was nice, but also a bit odd. What are you looking at? Is the AI in a haiku about a shop slash shop tower. Oh, of course he is. <laughs> well, there it goes. Bye. The olive tree, a taste of Italy. It was alright actually. Uh, sometimes like cheap pizzas can be really good. And that was one of them. Didn't seem frozen. Maybe the uh, base was potentially frozen, but the rest of it did seem fresh. And it was one of those where they just threw on loads of like classic Italian herbs, like oregano and other ones I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, I quite like that. And it was like eight quid for a 12 inch pizza. So I, yeah, that was okay. I think um, probably could have been, I know I was being silly. <laughs> I knew somebody would pick up on that and it literally happened in front of me. Um, yeah, it was decent. Uh, Detective Whitmore had a spicy pasta thing, which he said was good, and we got some chips for a one pound upsell, so well done upsell. Um, yeah, it was alright, there's lots of food options here, which is good, but it was nice to sit down and get something a bit more proper, as opposed to the burger and chips lark and stuff. Harrington fin Flint's Island Adventures. Superb! Yeah. Best Very ride here by far. We're blown away, haha, <laughs> by the, <laughs> wind, uh, the, wind the wind effects. Yeah. It's nice. They need more of that on the arm with the screen when you're doing like yeah. dragon. But the whole thing was just so fun and so yeah. well detailed. The only I won. The only frustration is that the scenery was so good and so well done that because you were looking at screens, you didn't get to see it. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is a shame because I think uh, the scenery inside this whole pyramid, the scenery is actually really good. Yeah. But I think people only know like the outside. I yeah. feel like when I think of it, I go, oh yeah, Fantasy Island. And I think of all the amusement stuff outside, but actually the inside's really good. There were a few scenes with sort of like TVs vertically that I think didn't need to be there. Like the shooting was on projectors. Yeah. yeah. The screens didn't need to be there. Cause like you say, there was enough physical sets and props that they were all really good that I don't think they needed the TV yeah, as I much. tried shooting some of the side bits and you couldn't. Yeah, they, they definitely they were just didn't for show, weren't they? But um, I think that's the best ride they've got, yeah? I think it's really good. And you were just looking into it, you think it was supposed to go elsewhere. Yeah, I think I remember when they announced they were getting this and the robot arm one. They both came from like a cancelled Dubai indoor park. Uh, and when we got on Dansaw, there was, I think, English and Arabic on the ride vehicle, so... Ah, good work, detectives. Very proud of you. Doing good work out in the field today here good. at Fantasy Island. Yeah, everyone always looks so serious on the photos. Yeah. Like, concentrating. I won, by the way. I beat everyone. 144,000. Yeah, yeah. I have my methods, let's Emily. say. It's not cheating. It was cheating. It's not cheating. Like, very bright. <laughs> and my gun stopped working. So. Yeah, sure it did. Sure it, it did. It did. I'm very good at this. Mine stopped working as well. So yeah. I was shooting it. It wasn't doing anything. It wasn't doing it. I was like. To be fair, you guys were on the same sides in your own vehicle, yeah. so maybe that's the cursed side. Like it was splatting, but it wasn't yeah, doing it points. Was, the camera around, so like. For my photo, it was Dan, and for Dan, yeah, it was same. me in the same yeah, yeah, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the last one, I was a bus. <laughs> I, was, I was a tree. Yeah. Tree. Yeah. Tree. Well, what was funny was you could keep shooting the guy even when he was dead. Yeah! Oh, we yeah. did that, yeah. <laughs> That's how I beat you. <laughs> get, get, get him all the down. And the coins as well. Yeah, yeah. you got the coin, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, but yeah, that was great. Enjoyed that. Right, let's go to well do something else. First place. Thank you, winner. Thanks, losers. Yeah. So we've been pointing out uh, some of these cursed things, and they're all cursed. So Peppa Pig looks messed up. Millennium Falcon here is not too bad. There's these like tiny little uh, Chewbacca and R2 and stuff. Look at him. Where's Dobby? Chabba. Yeah, he looks a bit weird. Dobby's mental. Yeah, that's that's not Dobby. Is it? That's Dobby after a uh, something he shouldn't have been eating. And then like, even this poor Dalek, I'm a big Whovian, so this Dalek is, um, he's lost his antennas, he's rod and stuff. The, the Green is pretty cool. This is an activity. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I forgot we have to be family friendly at this yeah. part. <laughs> yeah, that's that. And then uh, Hulk looks a bit rough. Sorry, we're just ripping into your stall. No, get out of the <laughs> Sorry. It is funny though, isn't it? Can anyone explain this? Harry Styles by Harry by Louis. What does that mean? I don't understand. However, you want to find out, it's on the 20th of July at 
Skegness car boot site Blah, road P24 5 Lula. For a few hours they've been like, yes, you know, beach town, ice cream, it's wet, I love a wet dessert. I then saw donut battered Oreos and I got them and now I regret getting them because it was too much. I gave one to Henry. I had I had three quarters of the pack for like 450, which I don't know, that's probably too much in it, but yeah, very seaside, very filling. However, we found another cred. Yeah, that's one more to the collection. What do I say about that? Not much really. I think we got three laps on it. Just a little kid thing in it. There's not really much to say. And knowing that Odyssey is close today, because that's right there, and that's the world's tallest uh, Vacoma SLC. They're the letters. <laughs> yeah, they are the letters. I got it right. I know. There was a surprising bit, wasn't there? Yeah. Here we are, the gang's that was here. Nice. Three lap special. Yeah, I already said that. Say something new. Um, it says that it's called Apple Coaster, but the the printed bit says Roller Coaster. Yeah, that's. I didn't say that. No, that's fair. Yeah, he gave, fair. Us, a yeah, he gave yeah, us a push. Yeah. Oh dear. Like, <laughs> has that been like? <laughs> I'm gonna cut because it's too bright. <laughs> so we didn't get too well on the rapids, did we? No, but there's a big hole <laughs> in the bottom. Yeah, it was one of those where the boat's already wet before you even get into it, which was there. Uh, I got more wet standing in it. And then sitting down, then I did go in round it. Although the leak from like, we went under one of the troughs and that, that got me more wet the than the actual drop. I think there wasn't many of us in the boat. There's only the two of us in the boat. The other three were in another boat, weren't you? Yeah. Did you get wet? Very. Very. Nice. You've got a wet bum, haven't you? Yeah, it was a leak <laughs> in the boat. My shoes were wet. Yeah, I was just saying, I got more wet getting in than like on it. The water just came through the bottom of the seat and now I'm like, the other one apart from me that's wet is my mum. Oh, that's cute. How about we dry it on the Starflyer? Yeah. Segway. So I'm just saying this goes to Hull Fair every year. She did say that. Detective Whitmore knows her stuff. Yeah. Hull gal. Yeah. You enjoyed They're, that, didn't you? Yeah, it's good fun. The no. ride up. Uh, yeah, very windy up there. Yeah, too windy. I the don't, ride, I can't the ride up is untangling the Great Britain flag. Union Jack. It's scary. Do you yeah, want to have a go? I, I can't do. I can't. Yeah, Starflyers are like my worst enemy. Well, they're not my worst enemy, but it's just, just so free and exposed. It, yeah, and it was so windy that one that it really got me. Nice views though. Yeah, I, th I think so. I couldn't really see. Did you I was close looking your inward, eyes? Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was brave, but maybe not. That's my. Uh, that's my limit did right there. Did you find your fearless? No. I didn't find mine, but I did find the parking machines. Oh, that's actually really helpful because we yeah, need to. Yeah, uh... As soon as we went up, I said to Henry, I'm looking for the parking. <laughs> Take the jumps, a little frog up there that like we did just on the outskirts of Fantasy Island here in. Not Skegness, it's somewhere else. Where are we? Ingle Mills, everyone knows that. I don't know where we are, but I drove here. Um, yeah, I know it's still spinny, but I prefer the bounce than the full spin, so that was uh, good. It seemed like it was operator controlled though because he seemed to be watching our reactions and then like doing certain bits, didn't he? So it wasn't just a set pattern like the one in Scarborough that I did that time. Uh, but yeah, that was alright. Not sure what we're doing next, so here's another clip. My favourite bit about Seasun was when Josh just realised, before I started filming, that he lost his vape. And that's the second one he has lost today, because he lost the first one on the Sizzler. And I remember seeing one, I was like, was it pink? He was like, yeah. I went, oh yeah, you've lost that, mate. It's on the ride and you've gone. So he's there now trying to get it. He's just there, look. Maybe he can get it, I don't know. Um, yeah. That was good fun. There was a light package with it as well, yeah. but it's daylight, so we couldn't see it. But um, yeah, there was a kid with us who was, I was making jokes and being like, oh, why are you looking at us? Because it spins the seats round. But then he just kept like screaming at us the whole time. So <laughs> it was a bit much, but um, it was a lovely little ad anyway. And next, I believe some of these rascal detectives are going to go ahead on the log flume and I'm not, because I want to be dry. How wet? I've got heated seats in my car. I do. I do. I got wet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did. Look at you. It's not that bad. My ass is. Like, I think I got more wet on the rapids. <laughs> it's soaking wet. Did you get right wetter on that or the rapids? Uh, that, I think no. Rapids. The, the mystical adventure thing. The inside. Yeah. <laughs> How? Oh, I got covered in like water. Uh, no, that was very wet. That that was funny though. Fun. Yeah, very fun. Quite a jank at the top it before you go cold. down the drop. <laughs> it's a bit alarming. Yeah, like you get yeah, to the top alarm. and it just goes. It's like it's like, yeah, it's like twice. 
dunk. <laughs> so I just got a Monster Mango Loco Slush, because Josh had one earlier, and I remember commenting on the colour of it, and you think you've got them mixed up, don't you? Yeah, so Josh got the original one earlier, which looked and tasted like the mango one, and this is apparently the mango one, but looks and tastes like the original one. But yeah, because look at that, that's more green, and the one Josh had earlier was definitely more orangey, mango-y coloured. And, and it explains why I liked the one earlier and Josh didn't, but you you think that one's alright and I don't like it as much. I don't think it's alright, I think it's still horrible. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Well, monster. that's the original monster, yeah. I'm sure it is, I'm sure they got them mixed up. He's got his boxes mixed up. I'm going to have to get a bit of B-roll to show that while he's not there. points down for uh, Fantasy Island for this. Yeah, that's frustrating, but I even said to him like jokingly, oh, it tastes like the wrong one, and he uh, was like, oh, it's just because it's not carbonated, but... It's got mango juice in it. I don't know what mangoes he's been tasting, but... This but like, it, it, the drink actually has mango juice in it, and that yeah. would just taste like mangoes without being carbonated It'd be, honest with, it'd be like getting Vimto and asking for Ribena. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a fair comparison. Funnily enough, they do actually Vimto, and no Ribena, but... Mm. So yeah, I regret buying that. At least it's only 250. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. It's my money. <laughs> Our day there has ended with another ride on Millennium. We did the back row, and I can safely say that the back row was a bit rougher. A little bit shakier, uh, but definitely have more forces. That was pretty cool. Uh, first time here at Fantasy Island. This is the first time we've been here investigating. First case from not Skegness, the other place. Rubber than detected with more. You've been before. Yeah, you've been here loads, haven't you? Yeah. Trying to usher her in. Me. Yeah, you have. Um, yeah, I've quite enjoyed it. I, I, I <laughs> quite like the sort of seasidey. Um, touristy, attractiony amusementness of it all. But I did also quite like the uh, little theme bit inside the pyramid. I thought it was, um, yeah, I thought it was all right. What did you guys think? Yeah, My arms aching, fun. so this might not take long. Good throwback to childhood vibes. I did a lot of seaside town stuff and Skegness when I was a kid, so it felt like, yeah, it's a nice throwback. Yeah. It Odyssey wasn't open. But yeah, which is here. Was surprisingly nice. Like it was, it was all right. It yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. Well. I it's nice and smooth. <laughs> Back's a bit more forceful. Yeah. I think I like that it's a wander round and you can pay for the rides if you want. Yeah. Definitely what Blackpool need to do because there's so many people here just wandering, so many families just coming through and you know buying little bits from the markets or the shops and stuff, and that's definitely what Blackpool need to do. So come on, Pleasure Beach, saw it out. Not Blackpool, sorry, Pleasure Beach, come on. Definitely Pleasure need to Beach get back Resort. to that. Pleasure Beach Resort, Lancashire, or whatever you want to call it. Or Blackpool Pleasure Beach, as you call it. Yeah, something like that. I knew someone was going to make that joke. It's always you making that joke as well, actually. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It's not exactly the sort of part we're going to rush back to. However, we need to come back for Odyssey and the spinner. And there's some more credits down the road, which we were going to go to next, but we're not because we're pretty tired. It's been a long day. So that is Case Close from here. Fantasy Island from myself, Detective Close, who's just literally got his finger on my belly button right now. Of course he moved as soon as I moved the camera. <laughs> uh, from everyone else here, Detective Gordon, Detective Cookson, Detective Whitmore, Detective Clements. Case closed. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>